Hello everyone, my name is Paolo Rosso and today I'm going to present our work entitled RETA, a schema where end-to-end -end solution for instance completion in knowledge graphs. A knowledge graph is a multi-relational graph composed of entities and relations. Each fact is represented as a triplet which is composed by a head entity, a relation and a tail entity. And the fact indicates that two entities are connected by one or multiple relations. Despite the fact that modern knowledge graphs contain high quality structured data, they are also known to suffer from an incompleteness issue. For example, 71% of all people from, free, from, from Freebase have no place of birth. These figures represent a knowledge graph, where, for example, Bob Dylan is the head entity lives in is the relation, and the United States is the tail entity. Knowledge graph embeddings represent entities and relations in a knowledge graph using a vector space by learning low-dimensional vectors of entities and relations while preserving the graph properties. The learned embeddings can be used in both knowledge graph reasoning applications such as lean prediction and instance completion, and out-of-knowledge graph applications, such as question answering and spam detection. Lean prediction is the task that, given two elements of a triplet, predicts the missing one. However, this task has a strong assumption on the two given element, elements in a triplet, which have to be correlated, resulting otherwise in meaningless predictions. For example, given the head entity and the relation Bob Dylan and lives in, predict the tail entity. Against this background, this paper studies an instance completion task, suggesting relation tail pairs for a given head. Different from the link prediction task, our instance completion task has a more realistic setting without assuming knowing two correlated elements in a triplet. Following the previous example, Given the head entity Bob Dylan, predict the relation tail pairs. However, such an instance completion problem on knowledge graphs is a challenging task due to a large number of potential relation tail pairs for a given head. Directly evaluating and ranking all combinations of relation and tails not only incurs a significant computation cost, but also results in poor performance to, due to the large number of candidate triplets to consider. A straightforward solution to this problem is to combine the relation prediction and lean prediction tasks. For a given head, we first predict a set of relations using a relation prediction technique, and then predict the tail using a lean prediction technique for each predicted relation. Subsequently, with a small set of predicted relations, the number of candidate relation tail pairs fed to the link prediction technique can be significantly reduced. However, such an approach still shows subpar performance as it fails to fully consider the triple-wise triple correlation on the three elements in a triplet, in particular the schema information encoded in the entity type triplet. Against this background and to solve our instance completion problem over knowledge graphs, we propose an end-to-end -end solution fully leveraging schema information encoded in triplets. Specifically, our solution consists of two components. First, to effectively filter out noisy relation tail pairs for a given head, we design RETA filter, a relation tail pair filter based on entity types. By extracting entity type triplets from an input knowledge graph, we build a head type relation tail type tensor, which encodes the schema information of the knowledge graph. Based on this tensor, we can efficiently search for candidate relation tail pairs matching a given head by a tensor operation. In essence, Reta filter outputs a set of coarse grain candidate relation tail pairs fitting the schema of the knowledge graph. To predict the most promising relation tail pairs from the filter candidates, we design Reta Grader, a relation tail pair grader leveraging a newly designed knowledge graph embedding model scoring each candidate relation tail pair. To achieve this goal, we design two neural network pipelines. On one hand, we learn from a triplet uh, at relation tail 
generating a triplet relatedness future vector. On the other end, we learn from the corresponding entity type triplets, head type, relation tail type, generating one or multiple relatedness future vector. Then we compute a schema relatedness future vector by taking the minimum value along each future dimension over these relatedness future vectors. The basic assumption behind this operation is that for a given valid triplet, the relatedness of, its, uh, of all its entity type triplets should be high. Subsequently, the minimum relatedness along each future dimension is expected to be high. Finally, we fit the concatenate triplets and schema relatedness future vectors to a fully connected projection to output the final predictor score of the input triplet. The figure shows the architecture described in the previous slide. In the upper part here, we have the pipeline learning from the triplet, which generate a, a triplet related, relatedness future vector, which is this one. In the lower part of the pipeline, so this part, we see the component learning from the schema, which generate the entity type triplets, generating the schema relatedness future vector. In case of multiple relatedness future vector, we compute the schema relatedness future vector by taking the minimum value along each future dimension over this relatedness future vector, so which is this part. So here we have multiple relation, uh, relatedness future vectors and they, then we take the minimum al along each dimension and we uh, generate one schema relatedness future vector. And on the right side, this part, we have the components that concatenate the triplet re relatedness future vector and the schema relatedness future vector to output the final predictor score of the input triplet. In our experiments, we use three popular uh, knowledge graph datasets, JF17K, FP15K, and HumanWiki. JF17K and FP15K are extracted from Freebase, while HumanWiki from Wikidata, by extracting all triplets involving a head entity of type human. We compare our method against a sizable collection of state-of-the-art techniques from the following three categories. Relation prediction technique, in which the methods are used to generate a ranked list of relations to a given head. We take the top end relations from the list as the predicted relations and we tune n to balance the trade-off between the size and the coverage of the resulting candidate relation tail pairs. The second category is called tail candidate refinement techniques, which includes a set of techniques that form a set of candidate relation tail pairs based on the predicted list of relations returned by the above techniques. One approach is called all, which combines and predicts relations with all entities. One possible improvement to this step is to have a filtered list of relevant tails rather than using all entities by generating a subset of potential tails for a given head and relation. To do so, we use RAI, which learns a multi-layer perceptron neural network to predict a relatedness score between two entities. Additionally, we use a schema-based predictor called SKI, which leverages the type of the entities dictated by the scheme of a relation. As a fourth approach, we combine RAI and SKI. The third category is called Limb Prediction Techniques which computes and score the score based on the set of candidate relation tail pairs for a given head, generated by the previous two categories. Additionally, we also consider a variation of Redagrader as an additional baseline, where we learn from triplets only, without learning from the entity type triplets. We refer to this baseline as Redagrader no types. To implement our instance completion task for a test head, we first generate a set of candidate relation tail pairs and then we score and rank them. We evaluate this task in two steps. First, we evaluate the quality of the generated candidate relation tail pair sets. And here we consider two metrics. The coverage of the candidate set, which is the percentage of the ground truth relation tail pairs covered by the candidate set, and the size of the candidate set. Intuitively, a good candidate set should have a high, higher coverage and a small size at the same time. 
Second, by fixing the set of candidate relation tail pairs, ensuring 95% of coverage using our RETA filter, we evaluate the performance of different limb prediction techniques and our RETA grader when ranking these candidate relation tail pairs, reporting recall, MAP, and NDCG. We evaluate the first step of our instance completion task by investigating the performance of filtering relation tail pairs using different techniques. The figure shows the trade-off, uh, the size and the coverage of the schema of the candidate relation tail pairs set using each baseline technique and our RETA filter on JF17K dataset. From the figure, we see that RETA filter outperforms state-of-the-art techniques by achieving a better trade-off. We find that adding tail candidates refinement techniques to relation prediction techniques helps to improve the quality of the resulting relation tail pair sets, where combining RAI and SKI shows the best performance. Furthermore, under the tail candidate refinement technique RAI and SKI, we find that RECOIN is the most com competitive baseline. Specifically, RETA filter is better than RECOIN by achieving a slightly smaller candidate set under the same coverage. However, Recoins achieve such results by using heuristic and prior knowledge on the structure of the knowledge graph. And we found similar findings on the other two datasets as well. The relation tail pair filtering step should generate a set of candidate relation tail pairs with a high coverage in order to let the limb prediction technique or our RETA grader identify the true relation tail pairs by scoring and ranking them. Otherwise, the prediction on the candidate set with a low coverage will lead to low performance on our instance completion task, as the candidate set with a low coverage excludes many ground truth relation tail pairs, which can never be correctly predicted. Therefore, we set the coverage to 95% and compare the size of the candidate set generated by different methods using the best performing tail candidate refinement techniques which is RAI and SKI. From the experiments, we see that our RETA filter consistently outperforms the baseline techniques and reduces the size of the candidate set between 10.61% and 84.75% compared to the best performing baseline on the three datasets. In the following experiments, we use our RETA filter to generate the set of candidate relation tail pairs with 95% of coverage. Based on the candidate relation tail pair set generated by, uh, by our RETA filter, we then evaluate the performance of our RETA grader on our instance completion task. We observe that our RETA grader consistently outperforms all baseline techniques on our instance completion task. Taking MAP as an example, it yields an improvement between 16.25% and 65.92% over the best performing baselines on the three datasets. Moreover, compared to RETA grader no type, which is the variant of our proposed model without learning from the schema, our RETA grader uh, learning from both triplets and their corresponding schema significantly achieve better performance. This shows that learning from entity type triplets is indeed helpful for the instance completion task. Now I'm going to conclude this paper studies an instance completion problem over knowledge graphs where we predict relation tail pairs for a given head. To this end, we propose an end-to-end -end solution consisting of two components. RETA filter to generate candidate relation tail pairs for a given head by extracting and leveraging the schema information from the knowledge graph. And RETA grader to evaluate and rank these uh, candidate relation tail pairs using a newly designed knowledge graph embedding model. Results show that our RETA filter is able to generate a set of high-quality candidate relation tail pairs for a given head, outperforming the best baseline technique up to 84.75% reduction. Moreover, our RETA grader also significantly outperforms state-of-the-art link prediction techniques on the instance completion task up to 65.92% across different datasets. Well, um, that's it, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me.